guys welcome to set rec youtube channel in today's youtube video we will be talking about drones and some of the basic components that are needed to construct a drone well what exactly is a drone drones are more formally known as unmanned aerial vehicles or unmanned aircraft systems a drone is a flying robot that can be remotely controlled through software controlled flight plans in the embedded systems working in conjunction with onboard sensors and gps now let's see the basic components that are needed to build a drone number 1 frame number 2 motors number 3 propellers number 4 electronic speed control number 5 flight control board number 6 power distribution board number 7 radio transmitter and receiver number 8 battery and charger let's start off by discussing number 1 the frame the very need of the frame is to house all the other components the things that need to be considered while purchasing the frame are its weight strength size and the materials number 2 motors motors they have an obvious purpose which is to spin the propellers nowadays People mostly prefer to use brushless motors which are way more efficient, quieter and reliable than brushed motors. Motors are rated by kilowatts. The higher the kilowatt rating, the faster the motor spins at constant voltage. When we purchase a motor, most websites will indicate how many amperes the electronic speed control that we pair it with should be. and what exactly the size of the propeller that we need to use should be number 3 propellers the purpose of the propeller is to produce the lift the twist angle of the propeller and its diameter are in need to be calculated according to our requirement number 4 the electronic speed control the electronic speed controller is an electronic circuit whose purpose is to vary the motor speed and its direction at the given time it converts dc battery power to ac for driving brushless motor they are connected to batteries directly or through distribution board the other end is connected to the motors the electronic speed control is rated with ampere which indicates the maximum current that can be allowed to pass through it number 5 flight control board the flight control board is the brain of the copters it houses the sensors such as gyroscopes and accelerometer that determines how fast the particular motor needs to spin and gives the command to the electronic speed controller it receives the input from the receiver number 6 power distribution board the power distribution board is an additional component to distribute the power from the battery to all the electronic speed controller connected to the motor number 7 radio transmitter and receiver the transmission and the reception of the signals are done with radio frequency the minimum number of channels needed to control the drone is 4 and is increased according to our requirement number 8 battery the battery has c rating and the power rating in milliampere hour the c rating indicates the rate at which the power can be drawn from the battery and the power rating describes how much power the battery can supply well guys hope you enjoyed this part one video of ours which is all about the basic components that are needed to build a drone in our part two video we will be talking on how to build a drone so don't forget to click the subscription button below so that you will be notified when we update this new video and don't forget to follow us in our insta page the links will be given in the description below thank you